Hey guys, thought I'd do just a, a quick video clip on how to use a um, cylinder compression tester and also a cylinder leak down tester. Um, I've already done it on the Corvette, that's how I know I've got a cylinder 7 problem, but I thought I'd give you just an overview um, of how these two testers work and what their purpose is. So the compression tester, uh, basically it's just going to test how much compression is in that particular cylinder. And ideally you'll check um, all the cylinders so you have a, uh, a reference point as to what the, uh, the pressure is in each cylinder. Um, so this end, so there's, it disconnects. This end, you remove the, the spark plug from the cylinder. This end will thread down into the uh, spark plug hole. Then this end, you can connect um, the gauge. You'll crank over the engine. Um, typically, you pull the um, fuel pump fuse uh, or relay so that it doesn't um, spray fuel. You just want it to turn the motor over without firing up. Um, and then you'll see the compression come up on the gauge. Typically, you just want to turn it over uh, maybe five or six seconds, and you'll see the pressure come up, and then it'll stop, stop climbing. Uh, there's a Schrader valve uh, in here, so it will hold the pressure until you get out and check it. Uh, then you can hit the release button. So on my car, each cylinder was between 200 and 210 PSI, um, except cylinder 7, which was at 90 PSI. So I knew I had a compression problem uh, in cylinder 7. Even though I already knew I had a problem and I had a, a pretty good idea of what the issue was just from a little bit of research I had done, um, for kicks and giggles, I decided to get a cylinder leak down tester. Uh, this one was from Harbor Freight. It was like 40 bucks. Um, you know, if you're a professional, probably you want something a little better than this. But for me, I just wanted to do a quick leak down test uh, just to get an idea of where the compression was leaking to. You know, so this test just says, hey, you've got a compression problem. The leak down test will help you determine uh, the percentage of leakage and where that leakage is going. Is it going back into the intake through uh, an intake valve? Um, is it going out through the exhaust through an exhaust valve? Is it going down into the crankcase like mine was, uh, which would typically be a piston problem or a ring problem? Um, so that it just kind of give you an idea because um, you're, you're constantly pushing air pressure into the cylinder and then you can listen to see where it's coming out. Uh, so this kit works very similar. Uh, again, you'll have an end like this that will connect into a quick connect fitting. So you pull the spark plug, uh, this threads down into the spark plug hole, and then you can connect uh, this end to the line that goes into the spark plug hole. This end will be connected uh, to an air supply, so typically your shop air compressor. Um, you'll need to make sure you've got something that can supply a steady stream of air to it um, and at a decent pressure. Uh, I think I was running this at 30 PSI. I forget now. Um, follow the, the instructions. I was running about a 50% leakage and I could listen uh, and hear the, the air leaking into the crankcase. So you typically can pull the um, oil filler cap and listen in there and you should be able to hear um, Air, air blowing through there. You can pull your um, intake tube off and listen um, and hear air blowing back through the intake manifold if you feel like that's where it's coming from um, or going to. Or you can listen at the tailpipe. If it's going out through an exhaust valve, um, you'll hear air exiting through the muffler and through the tailpipe. Um, so anyway, just a couple of quick tests that you can do to help you determine if you, uh, A, if you do have a problem and B, uh, to give you an idea of where the problem's at. Um, now when you do a cylinder leak down tester, I uh, apologize, I should mention, when you do this, you want it to be at top dead compression, top, top dead center on the compression stroke. Um, and the reason you want that is so that the intake and exhaust valves are both closed. Um, so you can stick a, a screwdriver down into the cylinder as you uh, manually crank the, uh, rotate the engine over. What I ended up doing, I just pulled the, uh, the rockers, intake and exhaust uh, rocker arms, which closes the, the valve. So regardless of where the, the piston's at, um, the valves are closed because you no longer have the cam uh, pushing it open through the, through the rocker. So that's just a, a one workaround. I knew I was getting ready to pull the motor anyway. 
Um, so I decided to pull the valve cover off and take the rockers on, two rocker arms off so I could test that one cylinder just to get an idea. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, this is just a rough overview. If you've got questions, uh, post a question or something. I hope if I can, there's a number of good resources, uh, of course, on YouTube, some more extensive uh, how-tos on using a cylinder leak down tester if you've got a question about that. So hope this helps.